Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little code question by two chocolates. Okay, so we know that we need to find the uh, uh, two minimum cost in the input array. So basically, we iterate through all numbers one by one. And if current cost is lower than current minimum cost, so that means, so let's say um, current minimum cost, let's say first minimum cost equal, let's say five. And uh, so current cost, let's say three. So in that case, um, so point is current cost will be the minimum cost, right? So current three cost uh, will be a minimum cost because uh, three is uh, uh, lower than five. And uh, current minimum cost, so in this case five, will be the second minimum cost. So let's say uh, second minimum cost. So current cost will be first minimum cost and uh, first minimum cost will be second minimum cost. So there is another case. So what if, um, so now um, first minimum cost is three and the second minimum cost is five. In this case, what if uh, current cost is four? So in that case, current cost is like a higher than uh, first minimum cost. But um, there is a possibility that um, current cost will be the second minimum cost, right? So in this case, so first minimum cost is less than current cost. So current cost less than um, second minimum cost. So um, in that case, compare current cost and the second minimum cost. And in the end, we know that um, current cost is lower than uh, second minimum cost. So update um, second minimum cost is four. We repeated this process one by one. And in the end, we will get two minimum cost, so first minimum cost and second minimum cost. And after that, uh, simply, so left over should be, so we have another argument, money minus first minimum cost plus second minimum cost. And then if left over is greater than or equal to zero, so just return left over. Uh, if not, so that means leftover is negative, uh, return money itself. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So with that being said, let's get into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, uh, initialize first uh, min cost equal and second min cost equal. So we will these two initialize with some max value, so float and infinity so that the uh, first price uh, will be the like a uh, first mean cost and uh, let's iterate through one by one and for price in um, prices so if um, price is less than first mean cost so in the case as i told you um, current price will be the first minimum cost and the current first minimum cost will be the second minimum cost. So let me copy this. So second minimum cost and uh, first minimum cost equal. So first minimum cost will be second minimum cost and the current uh, cost, current price will be a minimum, a first minimum cost. So P. And if not the case, so there is a possibility that so current uh, cost, current price, uh, may be a second min minimum cost. So compare um, mean second minimum cost versus P. And then after that, so we will get the two minimum cost. So let's calculate a left over equal. So money minus um first mean cost plus second mean cost and then return left over if left over is greater than or equal there if not the case return just money itself yeah so let me submit it yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n. So because we iterate through all price one by one here. 
And the uh, space complexity is, I think, a one, so we don't use an extra data structure. This is a step-by-step -step algorithm of my solution code. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.